All right, so let's continue building up our complexity a little bit. Negative 4 plus negative 3. All right, and then the next bracket is 2 plus negative 2, like this. All right, so from our rules of operation, we know we can't just ignore these brackets. We have to do what's inside of them first. So what we're going to do is find out what the answer to the inside of this is, get it right here, and we're going to find out to the answer of what's inside here, and we're going to get that. And then finally, we can add those two results together. So first, we look at this guy, and we realize negative 4 plus a negative 3. We're adding things together with the same sign, and that sign's negative. So the answer is always going to be negative. And the way we get it is by adding the absolute values. 4 plus 3 is 7. So inside here, we have a negative 7. We owe somebody three paper clips. I'm sorry, four paper clips. We owe somebody else three more paper clips. So if we owe four and then we owe three more, we must owe all together seven paper clips. So that makes sense. Over here, we're adding things together with different signs. So we cover this up, we subtract, we get two minus two is zero, and it doesn't really matter since it's zero, you normally would take the sign of the larger number, but both of these numbers are the same. So for zero, it doesn't matter. Once you get zero, you know, it's the same thing. And if you look at this, two plus a negative two is the same thing as two minus two. Two minus two is zero. So once you get zero, you're just stuck with it. And then finally, what you have here is negative seven plus zero. Anything plus zero is itself. So the answer there is negative seven. All right. Now, the next one is, let's say, negative 4 plus negative 3 plus 2 plus negative 3. What would this equal to? Well, again, we have a parenthesis here. We can't just ignore it. We have to go and do what's inside of here first. So we say negative 3 plus 2. These are different signs, so we have to basically follow this rule over here. We cover up the signs. We have 3 minus 2. We always subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. And what we get here, the sign of it matches the sign of the larger number, in this case negative. So we have negative 1 there. So really what we have is negative 4 from here plus a negative 1. So I'll do it like this, plus a negative 1. And over here we have plus a negative 3, like this. All right. And so let me go and continue on over here. Negative 4 plus a negative 1, negative 4 plus a negative 1, we have uh, two signs. We just go left to right at this point. We have two signs that are the same, so we add these together, we get 5. The answer is going to be negative because negative plus negative is always negative. And then we have our negative 3 that we still need to add to it. So we add this guy here. These two signs are the same, so we're going to get a negative. We add them together, and we get an 8. So anytime you're adding or subtracting, or I should say adding things together uh, with the same sign, you go ahead and add them, but the sign basically matches the sign of what you're adding together. So negative plus negative gives us negative. You add them together. The final answer is going to be negative 8 here. One more thing I'll say. I mean, this is the answer. I'll just circle it. But I'll just say while I'm pointing out, you see, you, can, you could rewrite this to make it a little clearer to understand what's going on here. Negative 4 plus a negative 1 is the same as negative 4 minus 1. And then this plus a negative 3 is the same as minus 3. So these are the same exact things. There's no difference between what I've written here and what I've written here. It's a different way of writing it on the paper, but it represents the same thing. You start at negative 4 and you subtract 1, you're going to get to negative 5. That's what we got here negative 5, and you subtract 3 more, you're going to go left more, and that's going to give you negative 8. 